Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Board Game Heaven Talks Accessories and this time I'm going to talk about the Mystical Organizer by Laserox which is meant for Mysterium. So I'll uh, show you how to put this together and then I'll put it in the box, put all the components where they belong and then I'll give you my final thoughts. So here we have the Mystical Organizer compatible with uh, Mysterium, of course. And it has room for both expansions, Hidden Signs and Secrets and Lies, which is, of course, very nice. That's kind of the reason that I want, uh, wanted this insert. So let's uh, start building. I'll first show you what you get in this package. I'll just put this here for now. So there are several of these wooden sheets that have been uh, laser uh, engraved and cut. And uh, one of the things you'll immediately notice is all the, um, the, the symbols, the icons of the things that go into those uh, trays. And they even use their own laser ox uh, um, logo in some of these uh, engravings, which is pretty fun. So we get four of these, uh, three, excuse me. So, oh yeah, there's two on each. So you get six of those, uh, one for each player. And this is pretty cool. See all of these ravens, because there is ravens in uh, Mysterium. That's pretty nice. And uh, so what else do we have? There's plenty of sheets in this one. So a bigger tray there. There's another tray for all the characters and even has a uh, fortune teller kind of engraved here with uh, kind of like uh, an orb. So that's pretty cool. Some of them are already pretty loose. Here is the other side of that uh, tray with the ravens. Uh, another bigger uh, box, it seems. So there's plenty of trays in this one. All right, so let's have a look at this. This is all the trays, apparently, with uh, the numbers of all the parts, so you know how to put them together, although you can you know, easily recognize them. There's a big box there, so I'm not sure if you can see that clearly, but uh, yeah, there is uh, plenty of stuff here to put together. So let me see. I think I'll start with that uh, bigger tray, or should I do that one? These are simply small boxes, so that's simple enough. Um, yeah, why not? So um, this is H1. Uh, one, two, three, oh, that's this. Oh, they go from left to right, right. So you get the car tray, the vision tray, the clock tray, the player trays, and the location trays. So I'll just start with this one. Let's see, did I get everything? I got that, I got, um, so this is H1, that's the top one. I have the D3s, that's the left and the right side. I've got the A3, so this one goes in here and this one goes in the bottom. This being the bottom, like that. And then this goes in the middle. So these are the outer two and this one is the inner divider so yep we have that and we have this which is the back yeah i think i've i've got it all so these are the pieces and then you can get started so it's always good to you know to separate just what you need because there's a whole bunch of these and this is not the easiest <laughs> instructions uh, I mean the instructions are clear but it's not the easiest insert to puzzle together though once you get started it's pretty straightforward so we will start with the bottom which is this and you take some wood glue <clears throat> usually these are pretty tight so you don't need a lot and I'll take these that go inside here. Now I have to pay attention. There's a notch on one side and that goes on the back where there's a notch here as well because that's 
where the back fits in. So yeah, this one goes here and this one goes here. So I'll just open the bottle and just add a tiny bit of glue to the sides. There we go, just, uh, just a little bit. And you position that with the notch facing the back and make sure you align that correctly and always work on some kind of uh, mat so you don't glue stuff onto your table. And I use this uh, little hammer that I got from Laser Rocks as well. They sell it on their website. You can find it in their store. And it has a rubber side and a harder, also rubber side. And you can just use that to gently tap things into place. And then I like to use an old brush that I don't use for anything anymore except gluing to just mop up the excess glue. Just wipe that off or you can use a cloth or whatever, paper cloth. And then the second one, and that's basically all there is to it. You just follow the instructions and make sure you assemble them in the right order. And uh, that's it. It's fun to do. At least I think it's fun to do. <laughs> and, you know, it keeps you busy, keeps you occupied for a while, especially now in this time of isolation. Find something to keep you busy, so why not build some inserts? All right, so then we've got this. I'm turning it around, like it says here. And... Um, you know, this is actually on the bottom. I'm gonna, gonna finish this first. So we have this, then we have, where is it? This part, which also uh, goes on top here, so like that. So I will just add a little bit of glue again to the sides of these tabs. And I could have also, I'll just do that right now, Um, there we go. Put some glue on these sides, which I didn't do the first time. And it's not really necessary again. It will also have, you know, the back holding everything together because this has notches as well. So don't worry. You can, you can safely put this together. I would bet that you would even be able to put this together without glue and it would stay together. first part of that. Oh, it looks nice. So it has a hole in the bottom to take out cards. Maybe it's the top. <laughs> so we have that. Then I'll turn it around. And this also has a notch, which I will put in later. Because now I can put in the sides. And these also have a notch that goes to the back where the other notches are. So this will then, you know, when this gets placed, this will be here. This will go inside that notch. And so if this is in place here, and that means um, we will also have a tray. So I might still need, yeah, I'm, I'm still missing one that I forgot to grab. So this goes then on the bottom that's here so i need one to, that goes on top and then the sides go in this direction with the notch connecting here uh, the rest is symmetrical so you can turn this around so what i'll do is i'll attach these two first All right so again a little bit of glue i'll put that on the sides this time Right, I've got this handy a glue holder that you can use to put your bottle upside down so the glue will stay in the nozzle. Okay, so you don't have to squeeze it that hard or shake it every time. And 
I line that up properly. Then I'll put this one in so I can uh, put the back in or at least I think I'll put the back in right now. Let me just check. Because uh, after that, after this one, this divider here, which I can basically almost just push in, just give it a gentle tap. This will go on top. Yes. So this, then goes on top and that looks really cool so um, yeah all right I will do that last and I'll put this on first so yeah this is gonna be a bit of a challenge because of all the notches but we'll see how that goes I think this is indeed the most challenging part of all the trays, so showing you this is uh, probably the most important one. And the rest I will simply just put together on my own and cut to the end where I will put all the components of the game into this organizer and put it back in the box. Okay, I'll just continue with putting the rest together if I should encounter something uh, difficult or something odd. I'll uh, shoot that as well, but otherwise, uh, see you on the flip side. Okay, so I've put everything together. As you can see, there is a big tray over here and you need to be careful when uh, putting these two long sides into uh, the tray when putting this together because they're long and thin so you need to tap it in very gently lest you know you could break it but you know it was pretty easy to put together it's just four sides and a couple of dividers here there's two of these small uh, clips there basically that hold the uh, hourglass and it is just tight enough that it will stay in there so that's pretty cool there's a little extra space here where you can put uh, these tokens. Some of those go in here, there. And then you put your clock and and this, uh, this thing on the bottom and these dividers here. You can just, you know, where you put your cards on the table, uh, just toss them all in. And these are the uh, player um, tiles. So you can put those into and the crows as well. There's plenty of room here. So with their uh, stands, uh, yeah, that's two of them. No, these belong to the clock and this clips onto uh, the clock. So that just goes in here. So you take this and you have these envelopes and that fits in here. Now this is a bit big. So uh, they do slide around, but it's pretty cool that you can fit them in there and uh, you can easily take them out. There's enough space to put your hand in. So that's nice as well. And then on the other side, you have two slots. Now, I'll get to that in a bit because uh, we've got three decks. We've got the weapons, we've got the locations and the uh, suspects, the people. And we got big cards as well. So you have the big... Um, cards here and I've sleeved everything and the smaller cards and these are the smaller cards uh, for the weapons uh, as well so these small cards there's uh, plenty of them and I have the core game 
the Hidden Signs expansion and a promo set of cards. And these small cards, they fit in here. Now, there is no razor in the bottom to raise these cards up a bit. And that would have been better because then the cards would have been here, you know, and the logo would have been more or less beneath this hole, which would have been cool. But now they just sit all the way at the bottom. So one minor thing, I might put in something, maybe a block of foam or something in the bottom to raise these up so they don't go all the way down. See? So since I put the weapons in here, the small cards, I will take these weapon cards and put them in here as well. So they go together, right? Then I've got this and this holds the rest. So I've put my location cards and the uh, suspect cards, put those in here. And I take the bigger cards and just put those on top because this will raise this area. There's a bigger spot on top. So that's pretty cool. You can both put both of these into this card tray. These smaller boxes, which are really cool, have this uh, Mysterium and Laserox logo on them and these um, uh, looking glasses, which are, which are in here, these uh, scrying glasses, orbs. So you put those in there with these player tokens and each player can have their own little tray. So you can deal those out, pass those to the players, which is pretty cool, six of those. And then there's of course the big card tray with the awesome crows on it and here as well and i just put all the core cards here and this is uh, the expansion set so if i have the second expansion those will fit on here as well sleeved even and you just take the two decks and then shuffle them together and you know just divide them or you can use one tray for the cards and the other for the discard pile but uh, you know they all fit in here so that's pretty cool. So uh, then we need to put it all back into the box. So um, let's see here, tells me. Oh yeah, and uh, I almost forgot to mention, you get three of these punch boards for these little uh, trays here, but you only need two of these for the hourglass and two of these, which are these. So you will have one of these punch boards left with these. So. Bear in mind, these don't go anywhere. You will have one of these uh, spare. Okay, so don't worry. So then the organizer, I'll put that on the bottom. And then I put this in here. I'll put it like this, but mirrored. <laughs> and then uh, you take the uh, this bit. And you can put that inside as well. So let's see, it basically tells you to put that here. And then this goes here next to that tray. And that all fits nicely, as you can see. Oh, of course. <laughs> think, Raymond, think this goes underneath. That makes it a lot easier because this is equally tall. <laughs> it wasn't showing in the picture because it's underneath and you can see it. So there we go. Just put all of these in here, anywhere you want them. You could also put three here, this in the middle and three there. That all doesn't matter. And then you can put this on top. Look at that. And now I know what this is for because that will then hold uh, this in place, as you can see. So that is very clever. Let me put that this way. It's much nicer. So this keeps everything in place and I could even you know put the cards over here and put this here because this isn't going anywhere but the cards might and this will cover up all the cards and then of course the leaflet let me get the lid and there you go the lid sits on top completely flush and that is just really Cool. So that's the mystical organizer for Mysterium by Laser Ox. I have to say I really enjoyed putting this together. It was one of the more challenging ones because of uh, this tray uh, mostly, but uh, I really like the engravings. I like the light 
wood birch plywood color I love the ravens on these clue cards uh, on this holder and that just looks really cool just these little details that make it look special and I also like that each player can have these individual little uh, trays with their um, with their colored pawn and their tokens in it with also nice engravings on it so that's pretty cool and the rest just goes in here and that's just you know practical it even has a special slot for the sand timer so that's all uh, pretty nice and uh, practical I like the engravings and everything fits into the box completely flush so I'm quite happy with this giving it a big thumbs up so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did also please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload a new video thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on board game heaven